There are many film and television dramas in the Republic of China, but they are basically mixed with the social situation at that time. Love in the Republic of China is tragic, and there are too many irresistible factors, so many of them have tragic endings. It makes people feel regretful and at the same time touched, and cherishes the beautiful life now. The Please King starring Ren Jialun and Li Qin mainly tells the love story of Lu Yan, the thousand-year-old god of war, and Yu Dengding, the righteous female village owner. Ren Jialun plays Lu Yan, the general who kills the gods, who has been acting for thousands of years, arrogant and abstinent, disgusting with integrity, decisive in killing, iron-blooded and tender, sleeping for thousands of years for love, and once awakened, ghosts and spirits are hard to stop. This character setting sounds very domineering. Last year, I watched Zhou Sheng Ruo but it was very embarrassing. It was obvious that he was dedicated to the country, but he died tragically in the end. Although the two have a good ending in the modern version of One Life, but still a little uneasy. Li Qin plays the young master of Qingchuan village, Yu Dengding. A righteous female bandit who is greedy for money and lustful. She was a goddess in her previous life. She is cute and cute, and can carry a tripod. Li Chinde has always been beautiful in ancient costumes, especially having studied opera professionally, and his posture is also relatively good. The previous roles were lively, restrained, and dark. It seems that there is really no such greedy and lustful female bandit. At present, the show has started to make reservations on Aichi. There are many fans who like the two of them. The added mystery of the fantasy drama, I don't know if it will bring better results to the show, I hope there will be a happy ending. More abuse.